common question that uh, every student or aspirant is asking me uh, on YouTube channel and other places is what is the difference between a DevOps engineer and a cloud engineer? We will discuss about that in the next few minutes. Just before that, the usual uh, stuff. Uh, if I don't ask for subscription, uh, people are not subscribing to the channel uh, and also to our uh, WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Do join these uh, three uh, different uh, channels like the YouTube main, so you get notification about the future videos. And uh, if you join the WhatsApp and Telegram, you can also get some notification from me. Uh, so what is the main difference? Let's get uh, back to the subject. So if you go by, uh, you know, the theoretical uh, sort of stuff, because these things have matured at different stages. I have mentioned in previous videos that DevOps was more of an enabler for uh, agile practices. So to finish your sprint in uh, two weeks, you need some sort of automation uh, in place. Now uh, DevOps and automation helped achieving that sort of thing. And later on, another two, three years down the line, the cloud started, uh, you know, adding additional agility to your uh, process. So things got a bit of a uh, bit, bit blurred there. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look at uh, what the uh, official definition or uh, the the differences would be. So a DevOps engineer is more likely to be close to the application team, so they will be focusing on building the application, securing the application uh, in the early stages and then deploying the application. So they will be close to the app side of it. So they will focus on the integration of how different uh, that application that your your bank or your insurance company or your startup where you are working, how that has to be built, different packages uh, related to that, uh, from which repository they have to be pulled and ensuring that a continuous integration and uh, deployment process is happening. So they will not focus traditionally of where that's going to be deployed uh, to some extent, uh, whether it's cloud or uh, any such uh, uh, on-premise environment. Their focus will be uh, related to uh, ensuring that uh, continuous CI process and CD process is happening. Cloud engineer, uh, traditionally, if you see, uh, they would be expected to know uh, where those applications will be running. Are they running in a secure way um, on that platform? Uh, ensuring that uh, security, uh, cost effectiveness, uh, and the scalable uh, aspects of the uh, application are um, uh, ensured. Uh, your how the infrastructure will be created if your application is going to land on. Uh, say Kubernetes cluster or, uh, or or Elastic Beanstalk, then creation of those environments is something cloud engineer is expected to uh, know those kind of things. And obviously these, these two are expected to uh, talk to each other, collaborate and work together to uh, make this happen. Now, usually an agile team is six to seven people, uh, team strong, you cannot have a DevOps engineer doing some part of it and then having a cloud engineer, then there would be a, a test automation or testing expert available with Scrum Master program uh, a product owner being there. You are left with no budget to actually work on the product itself. So that that being one of the reason that these uh, these two roles have are coming together now uh, and both these responsibilities uh, are expected from one single person. Uh, that's one reason. Second reason is these are related stuff. So one is building the application, one is uh, deploying, and on which platform we are deploying to it. So you, these are not isolated things now. Um, in in current scenario, you are supposed to know where the application is going to be deployed, so you can uh, ensure that some best practices of those um, target platform are also. Uh, taken care in the uh, in the application build stage itself. So with that in mind, both these uh, skills are uh, are expected from the same person, which means extra work for any anyone looking for a job or or anyone working uh, in day to day activities. They have to 
keep upgrading themselves in the DevOps space as well as in the cloud space as well. So just just a small analogy that I found, you know, um, like earlier in an earlier uh, few years uh, before in a test cricket, uh, your bowler is not expected to know a lot of uh, betting skills. But now with the T20 and bowlers are getting frequent uh, opportunity to bat and uh, their skills to some extent have to be on the betting side as well. So it's not a perfect analogy, but quite related that you cannot survive just just being a DevOps engineer. You have to add your cloud skills and then they have to go hand in hand to save your customers the cost of uh, having two people because they will not uh, be able to afford two people. So they will look for a person who brings both these skill set and there are a lot of people who, who get to work on uh, this. So uh, what that roadmap should be, uh, how do you build those uh, DevOps and cloud skills into your resume is something we'll we'll talk about in the subsequent uh, video coming in another day or so. But the idea is that uh, these are related skills. These are expected from one single person. The title of the job description or the uh, the job position that you are targeting could be DevOps engineer or could be cloud engineer, but you will find um, uh, activities from both these areas. Uh, and you will have to build your skills in, in both these areas. There is no uh, shortcut. There is no uh, difference, I would say. Uh, it's just a name, uh, so there is there is no noise about it. It's it just just a, uh, because they have matured uh, in different eight, uh, times, uh, but now they, in, in current 2023, there is not much of a difference between these two. I hope it helps and I will try to uh, enhance this uh, view further as to what those tools, technologies you can target uh, to build your skill set in these areas. It roughly takes three, four months of uh, effort if you are starting from scratch and you have some hands on experience earlier in your um, career. Uh, so I'll try to bring that roadmap as well in the subsequent video. And I think with that, uh, I'll close uh, today's uh, discussion. Thank you.